So today I have a very interesting arrangement to make. We're just gonna choose a color palette of all green. Um, my son Reeve was super excited to have me make an all green arrangement and Maeve actually just gave me permission. So as long as I stay in the light green, she said it's okay. Um, so thank you for joining and this is Cosmo. Say hi, Cos. Hi. So Cosmo is gonna do the flower reveal for today's bouquet making. Yay. So it looks a little messy here, but I will introduce to you all of the elements that we're using today. So we have green hydrangea, we have green trip, um, of course green roses, uh, we have green hellebore, green coxcomb, which looks like a brain, um, green mums, and we have green cymbidium orchids, which I'm gonna cut another stem off of this gorgeous orchid stem. It has so many heads. Ooh. Okay. And then another fun element, which is green kangaroo paw. And then, what am I missing? Oh, Bells of Ireland. We're gonna incorporate that. Um, and a couple of filler flowers, such as Buchlorum, which many of you know I love using um, lemon leaves and umbrella fern. It's not raining today. Um, and another special little treat, which is gonna be an air plant. So I'm gonna prep everything and incorporate everything into a hand tie. So we're gonna do the whole hand tie of the spiral technique. Um, but beforehand, we're gonna clean up the stem so that it's easy to use. So I cleaned off a lot of the, uh, the leaves of the hydrangea. Um, it has a little bit of bruised petals, so I'm just gonna take them off. And it has so many flowers on them that you can sort of, you don't have to be too gentle with it. I just go through and just clip them off with my fingers. Um, Diane said this has all of these little stems that I wanna get rid of. I called it Dianthus because it's in the Diantha Sweet William slash Sarah, hi Sarah. Um, carnation family. So this is part of the carnation family. Um, and these green roses actually are super thorny. I cleaned off most of them, but I just wanted to show you cleaning this off. Uh, I use this flower stripper. You kind of just rake it off. I go through it several times. And especially over here that has like super tiny very sharp thorns that give me a lot of splinters. Hi, Atticus and Zelda. Thank you for joining. Oh. Okay, and then the bells of Ireland sometimes grow off these like little shoots that I'm gonna get rid of. I don't need that. Um, pull that off. So I'm gonna take off all the excess leaves here. I'm gonna cut these up so that I can make it into very easy usable pieces. This, I'll cut up over here. One, two, and then maybe I'll separate this out. Okay, I might not even use all of it. So I'm gonna clip off a head of a cymbidium orchid. A lot of times I, use, I like to sort of like open up the face and then I'm gonna water tube it. So I put some water in this to um, close it up and then stick it in. So it has a little bit of a water source and this water tube has a little hole. So I just take any stem from like any of the others that we cut shorter and then I just stick it right in. So now it's a stem and I had done that with this too. Okay. Okay, so now this air plant uh, there are several ways to make a stem out of this, but today, because it has a lot of shoots and it's pretty strong, I'm going to um, actually just put it through like here in between. Sometimes you can poke 
you can actually like poke through it. Oops, poke through it. But it's strong enough and I don't want to damage it too much. This is actually great because you can keep it after the arrangement and it's an air plant, it's a plant. It's, it takes very little care. So you can keep it after the arrangement for a very long time. Uh, the care for it is you just dunk it in water for about five minutes and then you shake off the water and let it dry and then you're good to go. And you do that about, I don't know, once a week, once every 10 days or so. Oh, I love you Atticus, Zelda and Sarah. Okay, so I'm gonna do this. I use right here, I use the, a, a stem to kind of butt up against the bottom of the air plant and then I twisted it around. So now it's pretty sturdy. If you do want a little bit more security, then I also have a floral tape that I'm just gonna cover this like that. This is a floral tape used for corsages, boutonnieres, flower crowns, and all that. So how this works is it's not sticky, but when you pull, it's sticky. So you pull and then you apply, pull, apply, pull, apply like that. I think this is totally secure. Look, it's not moving. So I'm going to use this, incorporate it into the arrangement. Uh, the hellebore, there's so many shoots here. The flowers are very small, this particular guy, but it'll create a really nice texture. And I think I'm just going to use one. I might not even use all of it. So I have three good stems to use. Okay. Um, and this being an all green arrangement, actually, this is the Star of Bethlehem, and all these little green buds will turn into this white. So because I said it's an all green arrangement, I'm actually gonna take these little flowers off. And then towards the end of the week, when they, are, they all start to develop, they'll, you know, you'll have little spots of white from the Star of Bethlehem, which would be so cute. Okay, so I cleaned it up. Okay, so let me start the arrangement now. I think I'm all prepped. I'm going to start by using roses. Oops, I didn't do this one. So there's so many things over here, and these will get in my way. So I'm just going to clip them off. One, two. I'll just leave that there. If it bothers me later, I'm going to clip it off. Okay, so look, kangaroo paw. It looks like a little claw of a kangaroo. So cute, right? All right, so I'm going to start with roses. Woody stem spiral and hold and then next I will actually use the hydrangea okay spiral again and then hold and then I'm gonna use another rose and then I'm gonna butt it up against over here still spiral but I'm gonna put it right here so the hydrangea sort of is in the middle of the roses okay and then let me go and use the green trick. Green trick, same idea, but I'm gonna kind of maybe like pull apart the hydrangea a little bit and stick it in here, okay? Um, and now I'm gonna use the a mum. Uh, because these colors are so uh, very similar to each other, maybe I just wanna kind of break it up with a darker green right here. And then I'm going to use another, the other mum to place right here. So now the flowers are sort of surrounding the hydrangea. So the hydrangea is actually like providing a good support and a good base and the nice little green coloring to the arrangement. So let me go into the hellebore. Oh, actually, no, before the hellebore, I'm going to use this because this, this has like so many different things on it that I'm just going to kind of spiral still but butter it up against over here and let, let it stick out. Why not, right? We'll uh, start arranging so that this starts to blend and also be um, balanced by maybe, you know, the bells of Ireland because it sticks out. Okay, now I'm going to continue by using next um, the green trick. And then I'm and then I'm gonna use here, put in 
really nice little textural smattering of hellebore that has the greens and the buds on them. Limelight hydrangeas. It might be, hi Joanne, it's okay, you're totally late, it's fine. Um, limelight hydrangea, or it could also be mo mojito. I think, I think it's mojito. Okay. Ooh, let's not forget the coxcomb, the little brainy flower. I'm gonna stick it in here, still keeping with the, um, the spiral. Okay. And then I ha I'll do the other rows. So like there's the cluster of roses in here. And then the green trick in here. I'm gonna pull it up a little bit. Um, and then I have the Star of Bethlehem, which I'll keep it up. It's such a small clustering of flower, but then I'll keep it up right here. So it starts to create a balance with the kangaroo paw, the K paw. And then I'll put this in here. I've still maintained the spiral, so it's skinny here, but all the flowers are full up top. Um, how about I use another thing of the hellebore? Now I'm going to place it here. Let's see. Okay, so the hellebore seems to be a little drooping here, so what I'm going to do is support it with the bells of Ireland, one of them, like this. Maybe this is going to be kind of a cascading effect here. So maybe this will be like tall and then coming a little more down. That. Okay. So it has a lot of stuff going on. Uh, ooh. Then I have this, which accent it in right here. There's so many things happening. Um, and then for me, there's a lot of faces, but actually the, the two faces of this arrangement, I am going to make it the orchid. Okay, interesting, right? So stick it in through the hydrangea, grab it from the bottom, and then sideways. I don't want to see the water tube, so you can just like stick it in. Maybe I'll open it like that. Okay, and then we're just going to now fill it in. Fill it in. This is hanging down, but I'll show you. Fill it in. Ooh, I'm gonna cover my water tube with this. So, you know how it's hanging? I'm gonna support it with the lemon leaf that I have over here too. I have not forgotten the umbrella fern. Here. There we go. So, let's, let's see if where we're gonna do the umbrella fern. Hi, Sweet Smelly and Rio Co. Seven nine eighty seven eighty seven. Can't read. Okay. Ooh! All of a sudden, this arrangement became so big. Huge. Okay. Still skinny here, but big here, right? So now I'm gonna give it a nice cut. Cut it pretty straight. All right, so bind wire. Actually, let me use the green one to match the green. We use so much of bind wire all the time. We go through it, okay, really fast. All right, so you can see my thumb. I'm holding down the arrangement here, and then now I'm going to hold down the wire right here at the skinniest point. You want it at the skinniest point or else if you, as tight as you can make it, if it's not at the skinniest point, it'll come back down to the skinniest point and then all of a sudden it becomes loose. 
So I'm gonna bind it a few times. Okay, twist it. Now let's see. Did I cut it all evenly so that it'll stand? Let's see. The spread, okay, ready? Oh, you know what? I didn't find it at the skinniest point. Hold on. Or maybe I just have to cut it a little more. Is that better? Is that better? That's oh, all right. You get it though, right? I'll play around with it after the, after I um, end the session, but I don't want to waste your time, so I'm just going to put it into this vase and let it sit like this. Okay, and that's it. So that's our all green arrangement. I didn't see Reeve and Maeve come in, but I will show you guys this video afterwards. Um, Oh, hi, Judy, Reeve and Maeve. Now you're joining, but I'm done. So, I will show you guys afterwards, okay, Judy? All right, well, thank you so much for joining, and I will upload this video so you can see from the beginning to the end how it was created. And join us next week on Wednesday at 2 o'clock, um, and I will be creating something else, maybe a different color palette. I don't know. I don't want to be boring. Um, maybe we'll do a flower crown finally. We have been getting a lot of orders of flower crowns like on a very regular basis. So I've been jumping into the production line and making a lot of flower crowns these days. So I think maybe I'll go with that for next week. Um, and we still have the Tag Your Hero going on right now. So if you please submit any stories of somebody that you know, you admire and that you love that deserves a flower arrangement anywhere in this country and we will send it to them and we'll announce the winner at the end of the month. I will make a bouquet for them live and then send it to and ship it to that person and they'll get it either in one or two days. Okay. Well, thank you so much, everybody. I'll see you soon. Bye.